Welcome to the Wilcom Embroidery Fonts Learning Center, where you will learn creative ways to use your ESA fonts and glyphs. In this lesson, you will discover how to use different baselines to change the shape of your text. A baseline will determine the shape of your text, whether it's a straight line, a curved line, or a shape you create to go around an embroidery design. In order to see the baseline, you need to first select your text and click on Reshape. The default setting in Hatch is the Freeline Baseline. This means that this is a straight horizontal line and it will shrink or expand based on the font style and size. If you add more letters, your baseline will grow. Depending on the style and size of the font, the letter spacing or kerning will automatically be determined when you type in your text. You can change this by going to the advanced features and changing the letter spacing or kerning. So if I want to bring these letters closer together, instead of two millimeters, let's say I'll have it at one millimeter and the letters come in closer together. You can also change the space of a letter on the baseline by left clicking on the purple diamond and you can move that letter closer or further apart from the next. You can move the entire word along the baseline by right clicking and all the letters that are to the right of that first letter can be moved together as one. Now let's have a look at the circle clockwise baseline. When you select this, you will notice that your text sits on top of the baseline and it goes around the radius of the circle in a clockwise position. You can increase the radius of the circle by left clicking in the center yellow square and pull the radius out further to increase the circle. Bring it closer together by going up towards the top. Another way to change this, if you know a defined radius, you can go under the advanced features and just type in the radius of your circle. When you increase the circle, sometimes the letter spacing gets wider, so you can change it here under letter spacing. Or again, you can use the left click and drag on the purple diamond. If you would like to have your lettering closer together, use this triangle here, left click and drag, and you will pull the width in closer on top of the radius. To slide your text around the outside of the radius, click on the purple square at the bottom of, and slide up to position. You'll notice that your text slides over to the left. If you move the left side, it's gonna slide over to the right. The next baseline is the circle counterclockwise baseline, and it's this symbol right here. When you click on it, the text is now below the baseline and underneath the circle. This has the same properties to move just as the clockwise position. Increase or decrease the size of the radius by sliding on the center square. Use the little circle to bring it also in closer together. You have the letter spacing option. You have the ability to slide your text by dragging the yellow squares at the top of the radius around. And of course, you can increase or decrease the letter spacing and the width by going in the advanced features or left clicking and dragging on the purple diamonds. This next baseline is perfect when you want to embroider on a sleeve. It will change the horizontal placement to a vertical one by clicking on the free line vertical baseline. When you select the reshape tool, you will see that each letter is centered over the middle of the vertical baseline. You still have all the properties that you can change to move all of your lettering by, let's say you wanna move the legacy up close to embroidery, so you right click, drag the letters up. This baseline works really well for capital letters. The fixed baseline means the baseline will have a fixed width. If the text is longer than the baseline, the lettering size and spacing is reduced to fit the fixed length. This baseline is great for sewing names over pockets or under logos to create a uniform look. You will be able to set a specified baseline length in the advanced features. Let's make a duplicate of this text so we can go over the different advanced features on how to reduce the size and shape of this text. Let's change the name of this text and apply the different features so you can see it in action. I've changed to a longer text and notice how this text fits on the exact same baseline as the one above. 
This is because I use the space and width option. This option will reduce the letter width and spacing proportionately to fit the baseline if needed. The next option is the space and size option. When you click on this, the letter width and letter height and spacing are reduced proportionately to fit the fixed baseline if needed. The space option means the letter size and width stay the same size and the letters are evenly spaced along the, the baseline. But depending on the font size, some letters may overlap, as in this case here. When the width option is selected, the width of each letter is reduced and the original spacing remains the same. And finally, the size option. This is when the letter width and height is reduced proportionally, but the original spacing remains the same. You now can create perfectly proportioned text on a fixed baseline with all these options. The Any Shape baseline will allow you to have your own creative flair around your embroidery designs. This baseline will allow you to reshape the baseline so you don't have to go in a vertical or a horizontal or curved position. You can decide how you want your lettering to be shaped. Click the reshape button. You notice it automatically comes in at the default horizontal line. However, if you left click on the baseline, you can place a node. The square nodes are straight points. And if you tap the space bar on your keyboard, it will change it to a curved node. So what you're going to do is you're going to see how you can reshape the baseline to go around your embroidery designs. Let's add a few and see how it's done. So we can add another circle node here. Remember, it comes in as a straight node and then simply tap on the space bar and it will change it to a curved node. Pull up the yellow squares to uh, move the end of your baseline. So we'll move this square up a little bit like this. And let's curve this up and around closer to the leaves. By playing around with the nodes, you can get the shape that you'd like around your embroidery design. Move your entire group of letters by right clicking on that purple diamond and you can drag them up in place. Adding another node at the bottom to more mirror the shape of your design. Have fun playing around with the Any Shape baseline to create unique text baselines for your embroidery designs. Thank you for watching. Please visit the Wilcom Embroidery Fonts Learning Center to find more creative ways to use your ESA fonts and ESA glyphs in your embroidery designs. Thanks for watching. If you want to make your embroidery life easier, be sure to hit the subscribe button below to be notified of new tips and tricks videos, giveaways, and more. Plus, if you want to try Hatch Embroidery software free for 30 days, or you already own Hatch and you'd like to download a free ESA font for it, Click one of the links in the description below to learn more now. The next step of your embroidery legacy starts here with ours.